It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. Just the occasion the crack opened the distillery's private reserve. just don't get any sharper than that. Arrows like that can practically find their own way. That's the way to make every shot count. Even the army never issued carbines in such fine shape. He's made a right comfortable bed for all those bullets. That ought to give those dueling pistols a little extra kick. To fix a brush's pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. The inspiration a forge can fashion anything. City. Its riches nothing but fragments now. The shards are getting harder to find. Not everything blew up in the Calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds. They're all survivors, too. It's awful hot in there. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands.
playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. But we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. The unforgiven scent of sulfur's dirt. Taste the air so hot it sticks to your lungs. Sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. swept the side, the more life we found. Places inhospitable as they come. We kept on sifting through the cauldron's secrets anyway. find so much life in all that ash. But still we pressed on. After all, when we looked down inside Colford Cauldron, Look down through all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world, the heart now laid bare by the calamity. We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Kid's thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. And where there's one stink eye, there's always more.
The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Kid don't shed his tears for him, though. Good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. <laughs> <laughs>